Hey guys, good morning. My name is Jen Greenberg. I'm an elite Team Beach Buddy coach with Fit Family Network. Um, I am making this video today because I was just doing some personal development and um, there was something I just wanted to share with you guys. And there is a theme that I have read about a lot. It's, some, it's something that comes up in pretty much most personal development books that I do. And most books will talk about setting goals and visualizing them, um, reading over your goals every day, and you know, keeping them as a constant reminder, you know, whether it's like a list that you have on your phone or something that you keep next to your computer so that you're constantly seeing, you know, what you're working for. Why are you doing this? Why are you pursuing these dreams, these goals? If you don't remember what they are, then you know, you lose that fire to keep pushing for it. So uh, just to be totally honest with everybody, I, you know, sometimes I have goals, but I, and when I read that, read about that in personal development, it's one of those things where I'm like, yeah, I know that you're supposed to do that. You're supposed to spend time daily visualizing yourself achieving these goals. I've had mentors in the business and even outside of the business, you know, that have talked about that. Um, but sometimes it gets to a point where you have to be real with yourself and just because you know and understand a certain principle or philosophy doesn't mean that you're actually doing it. Just because you understand it and you've read it and you know it doesn't mean that yourself, you yourself are actually doing it. And while I did it, you know, in a hit and miss fashion, which is a lot of how I do things, um, I am, I'm reading The Energy Bus right now by John Gordon, and, um, for some reason or another, it just hit me in a different way that, you know what, Jen, you've heard it, you've read it, you've heard other people talk about it, it's time for you to just be disciplined and do it yourself. So I took time um, earlier this week to really just reflect and think about, you know, what I want my life to be like, what are the goals I want to set for myself that I can see myself realistically achieving and the things I want in my life to, you know, to work towards that are not going to be things I put on the back burner. And so I wanted to share them with you and this morning I actually took a good like 20 20 minutes or so going over each one of these goals and really visualizing them and saying them out loud and even though sometimes it makes me feel a little crazy in the head um, it just I can understand why this is effective because you're saying it you're talking about it and so you're just putting those positive vibes out into to um, the world. So anyways, as far as my business goes, um, I have a thriving 15-star elite team. I have leaders who step up every month and volunteer to contribute. I have 10 personally sponsored coaches in Success Club every month. I have five personally sponsored elite coaches, and I personally get 20 Success Club points each month five of those being new coaches that are interested and excited to start building a business. My family goals are that Mikey is going to the very best school possible. He loves his school. It's a great learning environment for him. We are debt free. We are full of joy. My husband and I enjoy date nights every week. My husband and I have joint ventures that we do together outside of Beachbody. Um, I am a great and inspirational dancer. I love to cook and I enjoy preparing healthy meals for my family. I have a clean and decluttered house. And then the goals that I have for myself personally, um, I put God first. I am learning about parenting and give value and inspiration to others on parenting. I give value and content for marriage and help others to improve their marriage while we improve ours. I have no cellulite. I 
am able to do pretty hairstyles with my hair and I am not lazy with styling my hair. Um, I, <laughs> I am hair free. I have laser hair removal and I was able to get laser hair removal um, and pay for it in cash without going into debt for it. And I am healthy. I am healthy spiritually, physically, relationship-wise, altogether, overall health. So um, those are the things that I'm working on. And I just wanted to share with you guys and just realize that, you know, spending, whether it's two minutes, five minutes, ten minutes every day, talking about your goals and visualizing them and putting them out there to the world, um, I promise you that it's going to be worth it and it's something you should definitely decide, commit to do and just be disciplined. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you soon.